I was training to do spacewalks. And as I went down in this five million gallon pool, I realized that there was not a little pad that allows you to clear your ears. And I ended up going completely deaf from this training exercise. They told me that, that in no uncertain terms, you will never fly in space. But a few weeks after we started the program, we lost Space Shuttle Columbia. I lost my seven friends coming over the Texas sky. And I went to my friend David Brown's parents' home the night of the accident. And his father told me with tears in his eyes, he said, Leland, my son is gone. There's nothing you can do to bring him back. The biggest tragedy would be if we don't continue to find space to honor them by carrying on their legacy. We go around the country to the different memorial services, honoring our fallen crewmates. And the lead flight surgeon of NASA, on every flight, on takeoff and landing, I see him taking notes in this book. And he says, Leland, I've been watching you. I think you're gonna be okay to fly in space. You just can't go long duration and you can't get back in that pool that hurts you. A quote that I really like by Mark Twain is, the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you figure out why. And so figuring out that why you were born, what is your purpose, came out of this tragedy of me losing my hearing. That's my mission now is to share this story with the world about not giving up, having grit, perseverance, overcoming obstacles, and believing in yourself.